Systems change by their very nature. And understanding this change over time is an important aspect of systems thinking. Students will have many personal experiences of things changing over time. And these can be used to collect data and represent these changes with graphs, infographics, and in databases. Now, this might include what they do during the day, the week, or the year, what they see on their way to and fro from school, or in the sky, or in the environment, or collecting data from weather, attendance, experiments, what they're reading in literature, for example, the tortoise and the hare, or here on teacher stress and teacher absences, and potentially looking for correlations between them. The key element of a system involves what important aspects have changed over time. How have these changed over time? During what period has the change occurred? And is the change constant, increasing, decreasing, or fluctuating? Once graphed, many of these aspects will become obvious. And students can consider what may have caused any changes, such as the change in directional slope of the graph, what may happen in the future through extrapolation of the graphs, and are there any relationships between different graphs, interdependencies, or causal relationships? This now provides students with an understanding that systems are dynamic, changing themselves and changing other systems and subsystems continuously. This makes understanding any particular system related to the problem that they are trying to solve more difficult. But digital technologies can assist in this. One of the most powerful uses for digital technologies is in simulating aspects of the real world. We do this all the time in finance, weather prediction, science, computer games, and in many educational applications. And students can also use digital technologies to create their own models of the real world and the systems that they're trying to understand in order to better solve their problems. Yeah.